The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Hello, YouTube. I'm so disgusted with all of this stuff. It's just, it's just terrible. We got this. We've all seen it. We've seen it again. I'm doing a little venting too. I did a little research. Starscream did some. Makes a good point. I've done a lot more research since then. Since I made the video. And I had several videos I was going to make today. But decided that, you know, what for? It's, uh, it's bad, people. If our votes don't count, and it's all about money, it's, uh, that's a terrible thing, people. That means that the grassroots of this country, and that's the people, have lost their patriotism. They don't want to be free. They don't care nothing about free until it's too late. If that's the case, people, you might as well just go ahead and pack your bags and go on to the uh, camps and knock on the door and say, let me in. Because that's coming. This is a little depressing for me. Quite a bit today. Um, I'm glad it was found. Starscream, you did a great job, man. I appreciate it a lot. And I kind of knew it in the bottom of my heart, and I still do. I always did. But people, it's like this. I just watched a little bit of CNN, a little bit of Fox News. And they're already trying to call the race. Perry wins South Carolina. The rest of them, it's just all over for them. If that's the case, people, I'm being honest here. And I'm totally honest here. If that's the, exactly the way it's going to go down, and Romney's going to win. You can be assuredly, be assured to yourself that he is going to be just as bad, if not worse, than Obama. He's already put people out of work before making him a dollar. If he was so good then why would he put people out of work? It's like that movie on Wall Street. It was called Wall Street. Where the guy got in trouble and went to jail. Well, he didn't go to jail, but he turned the other guy over. They were inside trading. That's basically all this is. Inside trading. Except now, except now, people, with Goldman Sachs, they're inside trading your presidents to make them wealthy beyond belief, like Obama. He went in pretty much as a poor man. I don't mean poor, poor, but I mean he wasn't extremely rich by no means. By no means. He's in office for what? A week? He gets the Nobel Peace Prize? Peace? Hell, people, he's, he's declared war on the United States citizens of this country. And he promises he ain't going to use it. 
Well, if he don't use it, I guarantee you that Romney will. Or Gingrich. Or Santorum. All three of them guys will use it. Bush used it, didn't he? He used everything he had. Now, come on, folks. You got the left, you got the Democrats, you got the Republicans. Number one, let me explain this to you. Ron Paul, he believes in the Republic. Let me tell you something else. There ain't supposed to be no damn democracy, I mean no uh, Republic, Republican, or no de Democrat. There ain't supposed to be one. That's not in the Constitution. That's an amendment they put in there to make it the left and the right. So you stay confused your whole life. You think you started out thinking that Democrat was for the poor, for the working man. Well, it pretty much did. <clears throat> in a Republican, they were for the rich. Well, guess what? Looks like to me that they're all for the rich. And I mean the rich, rich. The more you got, the better off you are. Look, folks. It's like this. It, it, I mean... I don't know what else we can do except for writing Ron Paul's name on every dollar bill that you come across. Every time you sign your your uh, credit card, you sign your credit card name or your name, and then you put vote for Ron Paul. I did that four times today. And all four times that I did it, I was asked, why did I do that? He's the man for the job. He's the only one that's for your he's the only one for your rights. Now, folks, we only have a few more chances here. And that that's for sure. Ron Paul's our only chance, but he's only got a few more chances. So people you really you really really need to go out there and help grassroot talk these people into it tell them whatever you know sometimes it ain't money gets people elected sometimes it's people that's wanting, willing to do the work and there's many of you that are out there that ain't, don't have a job and, and I, I'm not, I, I, I'm sorry for you. I really am. But the ones of you that don't have a job, you could be helping. Instead of sitting there not doing anything. And this particular poll right here shows Gingrich ahead of Ron Paul. And tied with, I think it's tied with uh, Newt. Or Romney, I'm sorry. <clears throat> but uh, here in a few minutes, I'm going to show you another poll that came out just a little while ago. And it's kind of good news. Same place. They had an update. And it shows Ron Paul on the lead. How long that's going to last, I don't know. But people, I'm being honest with you. If Ron Paul doesn't win the election, if he, if this, if he completely has to drop out and it's over with, I'm being honest, folks. You better load your guns and you better buy you some food. Because you can't live without food. And you better have a gun so you can get food when it comes down to it. 
And if you live in the country, you better have you some seeds. And hope to God and pray that it don't go down the way I see it coming. What I see coming is not pretty. It ain't nice. And it ain't happy. I'm telling you this from the bottom of my heart. And I'm trying to do it without getting mad or upset. But I'm serious. The only other way that you're going to get anywhere in this country is to take it back. And I mean by force. If Ron Paul don't win, you're going to have to take this country back by force. That's all there is to it. I'm sorry, but that's life. It's uh, It comes down to that occasionally, and it's getting here very, very rapidly for a lot of folks. So with that, much love and heads up.